Hello everyone and welcome back to my Minecraft world. I just thought I'd start off the episode and do a couple of changes, uh, some more polishing, some things that I forgot to do and give you a quick tour around the world, it's, uh, so to speak. Uh, as you can, uh, I gave you a quick look through uh, last time around, but uh, it was really quite fast and didn't uh, uh, show you much of how it looked behind. Now I mentioned earlier that these uh, timers here, so we've got one that's about 5 minutes, each one's about 5 minutes long, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So I actually have another one in here, but it's empty because I found that uh, 35 minutes uh, with, uh, with the dual spawner is way too much. Um, there's, uh, I end up with over 500 and close to 530 plays which is getting damn close to crashing this computer so uh, I'll just uh, now here's the arrangement of the timers it's just 17 as opposed to 23 because you're you're only part crushing them to uh, get them ready and uh, so in here hopefully I've got enough in here let's just put that there Yeah, so, uh, can I get through? Probably not. Fail. Yeah, so the uh, signal comes through here and uh, then has the uh, the dual system here, the dual timers, so that as it's flicking it doesn't flick stuff on and off unnecessarily. So, again, one of those quick little designs which I stole and I'm sure it doesn't mind. Maybe he wants royalties, who knows. Anyway, um, so uh, one other little project I was uh, hoping to do was uh, uh, just find it a bit frustrating having the uh, timer switch down here when I really want it up the top. So what I'm going to do is actually uh, put a uh, redstone torch underneath underneath uh, that block there. Oh, maybe I won't. Uh -huh. Maybe, maybe not. I'll have to look into that and uh, work away how I'm going to uh, power the block behind. Anyway, on with the show. Just tidying out this one last bit at the top here that's been driving me crazy. One of those. I'll get around to that one day, Jobs. Uh, still haven't managed to disable this uh, blaze spawning completely. Although it's a lot better now that we've got the uh, new uh, torches available to us. Um, I guess I just need to tweak it a bit more just to get as much light in there as I can. You can just see the excess of uh, uh, 
Redstone torches, oh, that's what they're called now. Redstone blocks, anyway, whatever they're called. Uh, yeah. Still not disabling it fully, but uh, it is slowing it down. What's that zombie pigman doing in there? Anyway, we'll more later. Okay, as you can see, I've uh, put a little button here, which is going to be the new spot for the uh, timer. Well, dual spot. I've already started marking out some of the uh, path that it's going to take. Coming down here, uh, another repeater, and work our way down. I have to cut back one more time. Okay, let's give this a go. I've, uh, uh, God, I thought I'd be clapped far enough away to stop that from happening. Uh, yeah, so, uh, we've got the path down here for the, uh, redstone wire, and we're getting, uh, just died there. So, uh, we've got that small room here, and if we have a quick look, uh, it just comes out pretty much where the ladder is. So, there's a wire here which connects to the first dispenser, so I could either have it directly underneath this cobblestone or underneath the wires. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, as long as, uh, actually, probably the underneath that, next to the chest, would be the ideal one to make that work. So, uh, I'll just, uh, let's see. This will be covered up with a block. So, let's get rid of that one. I won't see that. And I probably won't want to see this one, because I'll see directly underneath the chest. So... It can be that one or that one. Uh, okay, so now we're breaking into here, which is fine. So it could either be this one or the one directly above me now that can be uh, powered. So what I'll do is I'll end up putting a red. Yeah, I'll cut that one away. I'll put a, a block here. I'll put an inverted redstone torch there to invert the signal. I know it's triggered it, but that's okay. Uh, I could possibly even block this off here. Yeah, and that off there. Doesn't need to be active. So now I need to get the... The uh, signal. Yeah, I think all I need to do is cut this out a bit more. And put the pizza on. I have to cut that one. Yep. That goes there. Put another block here for the repeater. Oh, need some headroom. Just swap it over. Repeater. Yeah, need more headroom still. Okay. Oh, that's my bags. So the uh, yeah. Now I have to run uh, from here. Now do it. What happens if I put redstone there? No, oh, that's not what I wanted, but it'll do. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So, because I've got a torch up at the top, that's why it's powered. It should invert that signal. Is that what I wanted? No, I think I got that around the wrong way, so I just need to take that. Put the redstone torch there, which is going to make it feel like it's powered, so that there, and yeah, so now we are actively controlling it, so if I was to cut this, uh, I think it's this one, yeah, that's the one, if I just pop that up there, and go up the ladder. So now I'll steal this torch, that'll take the power away. Go back down. 
So we still got power though. Uh -huh. Why do I still have power? Because it's now going back the other way. Perhaps I need to put... A repeater there? No. Perhaps I need to put the repeater the other way. No, that's definitely not right. I'm thinking I might need to do a slight alteration and... Yes, have it go a slightly different route. Okay, so I think I've got it sorted out now. Uh, I just need to place that block there and these blocks here. Uh, we'll run some redstone wire. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, now, and a torch goes on the inside here. To invert the signal, it's currently not powered. Or is that going? Oh no, hang on. Right. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so let's try that again. Of course, it's all planned. It's all planned. I never make mistakes. Yeah. Alright, so. If I'm right, then that torch is now inverted. It's powering that block. That shouldn't be happening, right? Because it was doing a full timer loop, which would cause it to burn out. But now, if I was to replace this with a torch to simulate a button press, that would now cause this button. So the button would be on, and then a few seconds later it would deactivate, which would be like triggering this button, and it would then, yeah. So that's exactly what I want. Okay, so I'll just test out the, uh, so the pig man just startled me. Just test out the uh, timer. So it's now reset and it's off, so that would mean that the, if we go out the front, yeah, lava's coming down, which is what we want. So now, go up, I must fix those, I must fix, there's a little window over there that I didn't get from the original time, so I must get around to doing that one day. Alright, so the lava's there, if I push the button it should be a momentary thing, which should start the timer off and switch off the, yes, bingo exactly what I wanted. Okay, and now we're going to have a little comparison, a little uh, run through of the three different blaze spawners. From my first video I showed uh, the vanilla design of uh, Etho's ice cream cone style. In the same video I also had uh, my own chocolate variation, what I call a 642 uh, ice cream cone based on the Etho design. And now this, my Wurlitzer design, I will have as a comparison. So the in the top left hand corner of the screen you'll see the vanilla version, the top right hand corner of the screen you'll see the chocolate version, and down the entire spread on the lowest part of the screen you'll see the Wurlitzer. Both the vanilla and chocolate versions will be running for an hour but be sped up, and the well, it's a design will be running for 30 minutes sped up with dual base spawners. You only need half as long. So uh, I hope you enjoy.
deny our own influences is to deny the very thing that makes us human. And well, there you have it. That's a uh, about 30 minutes worth of uh, using the XP farm. And uh, as you can see, I've got 49 levels. So uh, quite happy with that. Uh, sometimes you get more, sometimes you get less. That's the way these things work. So uh, you just hope uh, you know, the time and effort is worth the outcome. So... Once again, I thank you for watching and hope to see you again sometime soon. This is Amnesia out.